syntax of le plus suffixes. So here we want to look at the syntax of lo, la, le, cha, la, li, those uh, lahem, lahem, lahen, lahem, lanu, the pronominal suffixes on le, le in particular. And really, this we've covered everything here before. I introduced it ten, tangentially on, on something else. Uh, actually, word order. Remember, we talked about word order. Uh, we said the more nuanced word order is circumstance, then we have verb. These are like words that apply to the whole thing, uh, like uh, adverbs, particularly of time. Circumstance, verb, subject. Then I said indirect object precedes direct object generally okay and then uh, in, one, in one of the examples I mentioned that le plus something is one way of indicating the indirect object well all we're saying here is that le plus the pronominal suffixes is a way of indicating in the indirect object we've already covered this so uh, but let's look at an example it's appropriate to look at it here refresh ourselves so here we have Natan lo et hasefer. Okay, Natan is to give. So this is the the Cal perfect 3ms form. He gave to him the book. This is the definite direct object, right? We know that for sure because it's got the et on it. Here's our verb with the subject embedded. So this is our indirect object here. He gave to him a book, or in English, he gave him a book, or he gave him the book. So, and notice that the indirect object is preceding the de definite direct object in this example. So just to note that one use of le plus the uh, uh, pronominal suffix is for indirect objects, to indicate indirect objects.